My name is Caroline Gutman, and I'm a photojournalist. And I also founded and run a social enterprise called New Market. New Market is a social enterprise that elevates women artisans around the world by expanding their market access. The Miao ethnic minority, who are found across Southwest China, have this rich, almost thousands of year old tradition of actually growing their own indigo and producing these really intricate folklore designs using beeswax, cotton, and indigo dye that they've created themselves. I was in China uh, on a Fulbright research fellowship um, about four years ago and was doing research on Yi and Miao women artisans and how their, their artisan practices support local economic development in their communities and how they promote gender equality as well in their, in their villages. I met a professor in uh, Guizhou who kind of brought me into the fold and introduced me to the community that I ended up photographing and who I also work with through New Market. I fell in love with the process, the artisans, and I also learned that it was a much slower process and kind of story that I needed to allow to unfold. Um, I would need to go back and, and kind of give it its due. There is one photo where if you kind of look in the center, there's a woman standing over a, a giant vat of actual indigo dye. And she is in the process of mixing the indigo. And she's mixing the indigo with water in a vat. Um, and if you take a step back, you actually see that she's surrounded by the, the houses and sort of the, the intersectional um, nature of the village where one house is built on another, which is next to another, and kind of everything is closely connected to the neighboring house. And this is such a great photo to kind of give a sense of place, but also of the process and of how the artisans live their lives and how, they, how their community exists. I think so much of the narrative we hear about China in the media is sort of this monolithic country, um, but we we don't necessarily hear the stories from the interior of the diversity of the cultural traditions. And I think also with photojournalism, so much of what we see in the news is is sort of stories of hardship and poverty and heartbreak. And what I try to do with my photos in Guizhou and of the, the artisan practices show something that's really enriching, that's celebratory. What are the implications for this batik tradition in the lives that we live in? Why does this matter in, you know, for the world we live in?